In the nearby forest, in a shrine of the ancient oak, lived Grel Beauty. She loved to help the forest dwellers and knew the forest very well. There could be often seen dry herbs, curative moss, and dried mushrooms hanging on the branches around her home. Ill animals and birds often came or flew to Squirrel Beauty to seek help from her magical and medical herbs. Every year before the winter arrived in the forest, a melody autumn concert was organized. All forest animals were getting ready for this concert since the end of spring with desire and tremor. This autumn arrived cold and rainy. Many of the animals became sick and that really troubled Squirrel Beauty. Somebody was shouting from the nearby bush. With a few hops, Squirrel Beauty got to the bush the call for help was coming from. Squirrel Beauty, Squirrel Beauty, help, help! Squirrel Beauty asked the fluffy, huddled bunny. Bunny the hopper, what are you doing here? And why are you hiding in the bush? I'm not hiding, I came here to see you. What happened? Tell me! You know how much I love dancing, and for this year's concert, I was chosen to open it. Do you imagine what an honor is it? I'm so happy for you, Bunny. You seem very scared. Yes, I'm scared, because the concert is after three days, and I'm not ready with my dance. Because whenever I try to rehearse, my stomach starts to hurt. Scroll Beauty smiled and said, I know your problem, and I have a solution for it. Wait here, I'll be right back. Beauty gave the bunny the aromatic drink. She took a sip here of Here you go, bunny. Drink. This is what I made just for you. Mmm, it's tasty. What is it? This is a mixed tea. I mixed dry yellows, John's worth, and peppermint. Drink it all. Mmm. Yay, it doesn't hurt anymore. And they together jumped around and danced Bunny's new dance, Happy Feet. Bunny the Hopper came to her first. He was a famous dancer, but now he had a stomach ache, and he couldn't prepare very well to introduce his new dance, Happy Feet, to his first admirers. Beauty Bow the dry yellow stone jones worth and gave the bunny the aromatic tea. Only from a few sips he smiled, hot back on his legs and started dancing happy and pleased that he is healthy again and he is able to cheer up the first audience with his new dance. The bun after the bunny, a sad nightingale flew to Squirrel Beauty. It was crying and with a hoarse voice it said, I feel sick. <coughs> My throat hurts. <coughs> and so I won't be able to sing my <coughs> favorite song for the concert. <coughs> Don't worry, I have, I have a perfect solution. Don't talk for a few days and you will feel better. Now stand still. I'll tell you something. The Squirrel Beauty took a compress of marigold. Our Nightingale's silver voice fell after the compress better and then repeated the same procedure after some hours. 
In the new morning, everyone could hear a beautiful nightingale song. It was even more bright sounding. After the bunny and nightingale visit, a humble owl flew to squirrel beauty. It was unhappy and rustled a low voice. Squirrel Beauty quickly went into her shrine, and after a minute, she got up with a steaming cup of tea and gave it to the owl. Here you go. This is what I made for you. Mmm, this is so tasty. What is it? This is a mixed tea. I mixed marigolds and peppermint tea. Drink it all, and I'll give it some more dry fruits to you. Thank you. And Owl was very pleased and went home. After the three days, the concert day was coming. The weather was better, even sun was shining. All animals gathered around the ancient oak tree, and our party leader, Al the Oliver, began to introduce his performers. I am pleased to introduce our performance. Body the Hopper. Nightingale the Silver Voice, Felix the Fox, and I, Owl the Oliver. Concert, Al the Oliver said. and they all dance hours around the ancient oak tree.
hunt away to find new herbs and moss. And so all animals knew that Crow is a good doctor to all of them.